why should your dream of relocating and working abroad just come to an end because you're not getting a job offer and you're not able to get visas because some of these embassies are not getting you visas whereas there are countries that are willing to give you visas that allow you to move to their countries without a job offer if you're watching this video and you know that you're looking for opportunities to move abroad and you do not want to go through the stress of you have gone through the stress of looking for jobs from your home country and you want now to move a step closer and further and get visas that will allow you to move to these countries without a job offer please do watch this video till the end you're going to get a lot of insight and you're going to enjoy this video please before you go any further remember to like subscribe turn on the notification bell leave a comment if you have any everything i talk about on my videos is always linked on the description box so you can always be sure to check that out in most of the time we are always looking for jobs or jobs that are mostly giving visa sponsorship that way you are allowed to move and get a visa to move to these countries whereas there are quite a number of people who are benefiting moving to these countries without job offers and i want to give you at least five countries that you can move without you having a job offer you're going to get a visa we are going to look at what these visas are different countries want different requirements but i'm going to give you at least the general requirements that most of the countries will be asking for and at your own free time i think what you should do is get a country that you're willing to look at maybe at least out of the five countries that i'll be talking about look at three countries go through the immigration laws and what they're expecting you to get under this visa and you'll be able to understand what you require I have talked about some of these countries here before and it is very good for you to listen because I have also helped quite a number of people to get some of these visas in these countries. So if you have ever heard of the job seeker visa and or if you have not heard about it, today I want you to listen and to listen carefully. The job seeker visa will allow you to move to different parts of this world without you having any job offer the job seeker visa allows you to move to these countries at a period of anywhere between six months to nine months whereas you look for a job when you get a job you apply for your permanent residency or your residency permit and you get a longer visa mostly for two years or three years there are quite a number of advantages of why you should always choose a job seeker visa and that is it reduces the stress of you going through agents and also the stress of you going through uh, applying for jobs and going for interviews and getting regrets quite a time and a time and again definitely there is an upside and a downside and mostly that is because some of the qualifications not everyone will meet but as we all know in life we cannot all get everything we want some of us will have a upper hand in uh, getting visas like job seeker visas whereas we'll need some of us will need to push until you get visa sponsorship what the job seeker requires mostly is for you at least the minimum requirements they will always ask for what skills you have and they will give you a list of what skills they allow to go to their countries under the job seeker uh, visa that way they they want to see at least your certificates in terms of education so that they can see and match if the kind of skills you have it is something that there is in demand in these countries or it is in shortage that is the minimal requirement of most of the the countries that i will be talking about the second thing is the job seeker will always ask you to have at least some proof of funds that is to show that for the time you'll be there you'll be able to take care of yourself and mostly it is at least three months worth of minimum average salary of those countries or the different countries they'll also want to see the proof uh, of accommodation because they want once you get in this country as soon as you get you can or you have your accommodation sorted and the third thing that i'm going always to ask for is health insurance because for the time you'll be there remember you're a job seeker you're just like a visitor but you're not a visitor because under the visitor visa remember the countries that i'm going to talk about you cannot search for a job you're only going to search for a job as a job seeker visa which is a temporary six month visa so you're not entitled for the health care services in that country you have to have your uh national you you have to have your travel insurance and that is a tra you get you have to get the tra international travel insurance covers from different uh, companies in your country and the last thing that you should know if you're looking for the job seeker visa is most of the time they want your criminal record because they want to check if you have had any criminal convictions before so before we go any further please do remember to like remember to subscribe and ask me any question if you have on the comment section before i go any further 
Also, if you're looking to move under the job seeker visa, it is very good to know that in the six months that you'll be there and under the qualifications they are looking for or under what you need in terms of processing your visa, you at least need to have a flight ticket booked for to and from. That is a return ticket to show that if you're not able to get a visa in those countries, you go home as early as before your passport expires. And the reason why that is is because most of the time, immigrants are come to these countries looking for jobs, and when they do not get these jobs, they get stranded and they do not have anywhere to go. So please do remember, your visa will not be approved if you do not have a flight ticket to and from, if you do not have a travel insurance, if you cannot show at least you can take care yourself for at least three months that you'll be there before securing a job. Because in most chances, in the first one or two months, you'll have gotten your job if you're a job to start if you're not very choosy and also in some countries they'll ask you to sit for the duolingo english test if you have been looking for jobs to move abroad you all know about the duolingo english test not all of them i'm just saying in some of the countries most of the countries are under these visa or the most of the countries that are giving this visa definitely are in europe and the countries that, that i'm going to tackle in today's specific video are all countries that are in europe i always feel europe is very underrated because in terms of welcoming immigrants there are some countries in this europe that are very very welcoming to immigrants and foreign workers so are you looking to move as a job seeker under the job seeker visa i have given you the requirements let us talk about what countries that are going to allow you to move under the job seeker visa the first country a country that i love so much that always is very good and their visa approval in uh, job seeker visa is first portugal and the success rate for application of the job seeker visa and approval is 85 percent in portugal portugal is a very well-known country in europe a good country that is very welcoming to immigrants if you land to portugal you definitely meet someone from your country no matter where you're coming from the world very very vast, very welcoming to immigrants, very well known for the job seeker visa. Their requirements are actually not that high compared to some of the other countries that I'll be mentioning. I can vouch for Portugal because I have helped people to process the job seeker visa before and they have gotten through. The only problem that I have with maybe someone who would want to go to any of the countries that I'll be mentioning, please know that the job seeker visa is a six months visa. So you need to at least not be very choosy. Two, you need to at least be very straightforward and know from the word go that once you get there, you have six months to get something substantial and apply for your residency permit. So what you do as fast as you get there, get a, get a job to start. While you're working on that job, you look for another job and the cycle continues until by the time you're six months into the country, you have your residency permit. Once you have your residency permit, everything is sorted. You can stay with the same employer or if you want to change your employer, you can change your employer. Another country that is very well known for the job seeker visa route is Germany. Germany is the largest economy in uh, Europe. A very good uh, country, very welcoming also to immigrants. The only thing and problem with Germany for most of us, uh, or rather the uh, immigrants and foreign workers, is the German language barrier. But if you know the basic German language, you are good to go because German is always looking for professionals to move under the job seeker visa. Another country very well known for the job seeker visa is Austria. A very good country. I've never traveled there before. I have seen quite a lot of footage on advantages of Austria. Not very big a very calm country, welcoming to immigrants, and not very populated. So if you're looking to move, Austria should be on your list. That will give you the job seeker visa is Sweden. Sweden is a very beautiful country, very open to immigrants and foreign workers, has one of the best uh, maternity leave covers that you'll get in the world, and also very, very great architecture, very good infrastructure, a very good a tourist friendly and you're going to enjoy a lot if you move to sweden the fifth country is dubai i know nigerians are not always in the very good books with dubai but there are quite a number of people uh, in different parts of the world that enjoy what dubai offers under the job seeker visa and it is a very good route for each and everyone who wants or is dreaming to move to dubai so we have five of the list we have portugal we have germany we have austria we have sweden we have dubai if there's any question that anyone has my link or uh, to my email is always on the description box the comment section is always open i am willing to answer it and i will attach all the information you need about different countries as much as i'll get because the only thing you need to do is go through the consulates 
of these or embassies of these uh, countries and search for the job seeker visa for example if you go on google search for job seeker visa germany or job seeker visa austria it will give you all the information you need in terms of what you require in terms of the paperwork in terms of the health insurance how much they need for you to cover because different countries will require different amounts of money different kinds of department i have just given you a narrowly uh, of the basic requirements that you'll get uh, from most of the countries in average please do remember to like subscribe channel the notification bell if you have not and until next time be safe keep safe and bye